Hello, this is Andy Klippe. I'm today at the Clark International Airport and today with me is uh, Stefan Mormertz from Germany who is a pilot who is flying around the world. Welcome in Clark in the Philippines, Stefan. Thank you very much for having me here. It's a great time to be here. And uh, we will come on you uh, in, in some minutes uh, back later. And uh, with me also is Arnel. Arnel is working for the Help Philippine Schools Foundation here in uh, Pampanga in Clark. And he is a host for us and he is hosting Stefan and the Chesna. Arnel, welcome and uh, thank you very much that we can be here. Yep. Hi, hello everyone. And uh, I think, Stefan, we proceed to your aircraft. Yeah, thank you guys and uh, thanks for having us here. Hope to see you again. Thank you very much, Anne. Welcome. Okay, Stefan, let's go. Let's go. Stefan, uh, once again, uh, really amazing what you're doing. You're, you're flying around the world with this Cessna aircraft. Can tell me please, uh, what was your intention or what is your intention? Well, uh, many uh, pilots dream about flying around the world in a small airplane. And uh, finally, I have the chance, the time and the resources to do it, um, to uh, circumnavigate uh, our common earth, the only one we have. And uh, the reason is, yeah, just the achievement to have done it finally and to meet people. And uh, you are now in the middle of your, of your trip. What is your route? So where, where did you start and where, where will you go? And uh, that we are in the Philippines, of course, <laughs> we know everybody. Um, everybody's invited to come to the Philippines, but you started in Germany, right? That is correct. I started in Germany and my route took me uh, westbound. I flew uh, from uh, Germany to Scotland, onto Iceland, then to uh, Greenland, uh, to Baffin Island, which is part of Canada all across the tundra of uh, northern Canada, uh, Dawson City, um, then to Alaska, a Nome, a Nome on the banks of the uh, uh, Pacific Ocean. And, uh, and then from Nome, uh, I was crossing the Bering Sea and the Dateline, by the way. So I arrived in the next day and uh, the um, route took me then across uh, eastern Russia, um, Anadir and Magadan. Uh, to Yuzhnoi, Zakhalinsk, beautiful cities, wonderful landscape, and then I crossed the Okhotsk Sea to Japan, yeah, and finally um, crossed the Pacific, coming here to the Philippines, where I'm now, and I'm happy to be here. So that that is a very long trip. The International Space Station needs about uh, 70, 80 minutes to turn around the world. How how long do you need at at the end? Of course, there's always a stopover. That is not a world record in in high speed, but how long will it take you? Well, it takes you about uh, 14 days uh, to three weeks, so two to three weeks to come here. And then I will continue westbound, of course, uh, via uh, Borneo and, uh, and um, Malaysia Peninsula, Thailand, India, all these countries, then uh, Pakistan and uh, the UAE across the Mediterranean back. And this will be another two weeks. In real life, you told me you are an airline captain and you are transporting uh, big aircraft with, uh, with passengers around the world. What is the difference between these big airlines and uh, this uh, yeah, more or less small, small Cessna? Well, in big airlines, uh, cockpit nowadays, in modern A350s and uh, so on, you have a crew, you have a co-pilot, and uh, you have uh, many more instruments uh, to manage the entire flight. And above all, you fly above the weather most of the time. And with small airplanes like this, you have to manage the weather. And that's one of the biggest challenges, uh, especially when you come here in the wet season, you have to uh, you know, avoid the thunderstorms and the strong winds. And uh, these are big challenges uh, to uh, avoid it. Um, that, that brings me to another, yeah, more or less a little bit sad moment. The reason of your flight, or there is a special reason you told me before for this flight. Can, can you just tell, but yeah, just can, can you tell us a little bit about that? But I think we should go to the, to the back of your, of your aircraft because there is a small design huh? and you wanted to show to us and you wanted to share. Okay, please just uh, yeah, follow us. Okay, Stefan, uh, here we are at the, at the back, uh, back side of your, of your aircraft and there's a special design and that is a, 
that is a special moment for you. Why are you you doing this uh, this flight around the world? Um, one reason is, um, of course, to promote friendship and camaraderie among uh, the people worldwide, among the pilots and the flyers. And uh, one particular reason is uh, that um, a friend of mine, he put this airplane together, um, John T. Kunis, who I want to give a memory because he passed away. John T. Kunis was a, a very famous pilot in the United States and all over the world. And uh, when uh, we decided to um, build this uh, Cessna here together, he did the job in the United States together with his brother, George. And uh, finally, uh, this airplane needed longer wings with additional um, wing tip tanks to fly. And finally, he flew it across the Pacific, uh, which is a major uh, achievement for a pilot. Um, he, his route is shown here from California across uh, Hawaii to various Pacific islands all the way to Borneo where I was living at these times and unfortunately John T. Kuhn has passed away so uh, my job is to keep his memory alive so I fly his uh, logo around the world. That is really amazing and uh, um, you will go to Kota, Bina, uh, Kota Kinabalu uh, tomorrow? Yeah. This is correct, uh, tomorrow I will be leaving Clark unfortunately but I also have a job, I have to go, to, go back to work. So um, I will be flying from uh, Clark to uh, Kota Kinabalu, where uh, I met John when he came with the airplane uh, to Borneo. So when I land in Kota Kinabalu, uh, this airplane has uh, completed uh, one world circumnavigation. Absolutely great, and uh, it looks beautiful. Uh, your 185 Skywagon um, 2. Uh, polished. We mentioned already the help of, uh, of Captain Wagner's crew before, um, the, uh, the, the Help Philippine Schools Foundation. And uh, that is great that they accommodate you. How does it work in other countries? Because it's not that easy to find always a foundation who is offering the hunger to, uh, to park the aircraft. Yeah, um, luckily all flyers, all pilots among uh, uh, the world flying community they support each other. So um, you indeed find helping hands everywhere. Uh, and that's one of the uh, major experiences I make during this uh, world flight. I get a lot of support from friends, from strangers, from foreigners, people I do not know. So it's a, a great, great experience how people stick together when something special is happening. And also in the Philippines, you, you had uh, and you have uh, two friends who helped you to come here. Yes, uh, indeed, I'm very thankful to Rolf Dunder of Lubeka and uh, to Luke Helgen of uh, Pegasus Aviation. Both uh, companies uh, registered in the Philippines? These are registered uh, uh, Philippines uh, companies and uh, they have been living here for decades. And of course, they know the country better than I. So they uh, uh, helped me a lot to manage the, uh, uh, you know, all these uh, permits you need and you need uh, uh, licenses to get here, which every country has in place. And if the, follow, if the procedures are followed, it works perfectly. And thanks to them, yes, it did. So thank you very much, of course, for all the helping hands. Uh, you mentioned all the countries. What is the most unforgettable moment when you compare your trip, the countries, the airports, etc., the people, perhaps, uh, the restaurants or the, the hotels where you, slept, where, where you slept? Difficult question. I give you one, some more seconds it to is, think about this. It is, it is indeed a not an easy question. Um, what immediately comes into my mind is my former flight instructor when I was a young air cadet in the, at the age of 20 or something being trained to become an airline pilot, uh, fulfilling my dream. Um, he said, you know what, it's not so much about the planes you fly, it's more about the people you meet. So, I th yes, the most unforgettable experience, nature, nature, yes, when you fly a across the vast countries of uh, northern Canada, you see the mustards and the, the, the herds of the reindeers. Uh, it's nature and it's the people you meet, definitely. So, especially here in the people, we have very kind people and very welcoming and, and uh, uh, people uh, who makes it easier. Uh, however, there is always administration as well. We were talking about that. You are responsible for all your own things, weather report, administration, uh, paying the fees and, and, and this and that and uh, also the uh, safety of the aircraft, of course. 
Um, you mentioned that you have been here in 2015, right? Uh, the first time? Uh, that is correct. I flew another small airplane uh, from uh, Southeast Asia all the way up to Japan. And I came here through the Philippines as well. Uh, it was a different process. Uh, but to Clark International Airport? Also to Clark International Airport. Uh, so I had been here before. So that sounds very, very great. And uh, when will you come back to the Philippines? Oh, yes. Uh, good question. Uh, um, on vacation. On vacation is great. So you can come back uh, in wintertime in Germany. So when it's, co when it's cold there, come here to the Philippines. Then the summer is approaching, uh, uh, beginning of the next year. And uh, I hope to see you back again. And, uh, but first of all, let us uh, wish you a very safe trip back home. First to Kina, uh, uh, Kot Kotabalu tomorrow. And um, then the whole way to Taiwan and uh, Japan and then back home. Uh, the, the route will take me back home to my home airfield in Aachen. By the way, I like to mention this here on the camera, that the Westflug in Aachen and all my friends over there in Germany helped me a lot to you know, get ready flying for this world trip. So this is not an individual task, it's just me sitting in the plane and flying. But there are so many people involved that uh, uh, make this happen. And uh, before I reach Aachen, uh, I will go, uh, yes, uh, to uh, Borneo, um, Malaysia Peninsula, Thailand, um, uh, Bangladesh, uh, India, Pakistan, uh, to the United Arab Emirates, uh, then across the Arabian Gulf, uh, uh, across the Arabian Peninsula, um, to the Mediterranean Sea. Finally in Europe, I will visit my Swiss friends in Switzerland and then I will uh, be home in Aachen and I'm yeah, and, um, happy to be back then. Very great. So, thank you very much, uh, Stefan uh, Momatz, uh, airline pilot uh, flying around the world with a Cessna and uh, currently um, here with me at Clark International Airport in Pampanga, Philippines. And have a safe flight back home and hope to see you back again, uh, soon again.